time for the evening experience. So maybe you feel like you've lived here a while, you've done, you end up doing the same eight or nine social things all the time, maybe. And maybe you're on camera too and you think you're not on the camera too, but you are. And uh, that's where Jim Dever can come in so handy. I know. Okay, uh, because. Sure <laughs> there he is. Where's yeah. camera two? Yeah. Is this camera two? It's my first day <laughs> anchoring. Oh, that's, is that camera two? It's my first day on the job. Because yeah. every week you guys bring us something to do, something to see, and either always things yeah, that I've never heard of, or it's brand new, and I just love but it. But he doesn't we get the out best much. Job in Let's the world. be honest. Yeah. You, you have the best job in the world. We have the second best. No. I'll no, say where ours you, is even I better. I think you have the best job. You're Let's stuck be here like. Potted plants. Stuck. I know. Sometimes it you guys stinks. bring us food, Take us but out. not today. Well, we'll get to that. Okay. I'm sorry. There is no food for today, though. <sighs> Spoiler alert. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about something to do. Okay. Something to do. Go on over to Kirkland to shoot 360. It is a basketball skills Sold. training center. It's so much fun. Uh, oh. Kim did this uh, a couple nights ago. Mm -hmm. They have interactive games. They also have drills. A lot of it is uh, digitized. You can shoot and have a uh, machine actually oh analyze your shot for the arc <gasps> of the ball. Um, just all that stuff. You can see these guys trying it right there. That's a passing exercise they're doing there. Uh, they have oh, these shooting so cool. guns. There it is. That will shoot to you. Or pass to you. Yeah, and some people you call shoot. that a pass. Yeah, so uh, it's all run by a former NBA player, Rodney Stuckey. He went oh, yeah. to Kentwood High School, and he really enjoys now passing on the joy of basketball to everyone, from beginners to experts. Super cool. Oh my gosh! Wait, can we go all three? I mean, I know you've already been, but should we just do something and go all together? Well, you know what? I haven't been. Kim's been, so why don't we go? We'll go. Yeah, yeah. three of us. I was my point guard in my. Um, you were in junior. My JV team. That's get the video where you got that. your nickname, the killer. That's right. That's good. Yes. It is. That's and also because of other things. But is that her kill? Is that her <laughs> nickname? Kidding. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, is so it? that's something you can do. How about something you can see? <laughs> okay. Well, let's. Go beast mode for this one. So we've got yes. the big game coming up yep. on Sunday. We can't go stop thinking, talking, and dreaming about it. It's going to be a, a glorious victory against the Green Bay Packers. Well, right now, of course, we have Marshawn back on the team. Mm -hmm. Everyone's excited about that. I don't know if everyone knows this, but Marshawn is a fashion guy. Yes. And he's got his own store, Beast Mode, in Pioneer Square. Mm -hmm. It's been there for four years. But right now, they have new fashions in, in uh, stock. They've got the Back in Action shirt. It says Back in Action across nice. the Unfinished Business shirt. Um, so you can get all outfitted for the game in the latest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, latest and then you're beast looking wear. so cool. Yeah, that's hoodies. Oh my that's God. one word for it, Michelle. Cool. I love it. <laughs> oh, those are so awesome. Yeah, okay. it's it's a fun place. And what's great is that uh, that's Beast Mode's friend, uh, old teammate who runs the store from what? the from the Buffalo Bills days, Ace Bowen. He played. He played. He was a freshman. Uh, NFL player when Marshawn was a sophomore, and they kind of helped each other through the growing pains back with the Buffalo Great. Bills. I thought his brother yeah. was a part of that. Am I wrong too? That too. I think he's got a lot of fam oh, involved. Oh, fam, gotcha. yeah, and fam okay. can extend to friends too. Okay, cool. Uh, something to eat. Let's yes. do it. Let's this is eat. why I didn't bring it. It is fish stew or fish soup uh, from Tom Douglas. I don't know what a stew is and what a soup is. They look kind of similar to me in this the case. Thickness, right? Would be about. <laughs> but <laughs> Tom will tell you, and you'll have to go on over to our King Five Evening uh, website to uh, see this. The best way to know how to make it is just watch the video. He mm -hmm. will. He takes you through it step by step, and it's really a lot easier than you would ever think. I, I never thought to make fish soup, but he actually shows how you can take the carcasses of the fish that you've just made, maybe uh, maybe the day before. You made some salmon or something. Uh, mm -hmm. you take the carcasses, you can boil them down to make some stock, add in some garlic, some clam, some mussels, mm. and then any kind of fish, plus some, he throws in squid, tomato sauce, and then pours that oh. stock back in. Uh, also, you can, you can go to the store and get this stuff called Anito fish stock or Aneto. It's A N E T O. Is it a It's an Aneto fish. It's Neto. <laughs> it's Neto. But I think it might be pronounced Aneto, <laughs> but I don't know. That's why I'm not Tom Douglas. Great stuff. So we I got would have brought you some, here, but, but it's fish. It, just it, doesn't, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't keep well, you know? <laughs> but it In will be settings. amazing when we eat it hot. Jim, thanks thank so much you, for coming Jim. by. You Great bet. idea. Thank Love you. As always, we'll see all you right. soon. And go to uh, king5evening.com. That's correct. For all the latest and greatest. You guys are on the air every night at 7 30 on King Right again. Yep. He's Jim. She's Michelle. I'm And where's camera two? <laughs> right over there.